Iraq harbor no special objectives in Kuwait. We don't stand a chance we don't get aid from our friends. You're dealing with, with one of the real madmen of the 20th century. Elements of the 82nd Airborne Division, as well as key units of the United States Air Force, are arriving today to take up defensive positions in Saudi Arabia. No one commits America's armed forces to a dangerous mission lightly, but after perhaps unparalleled international consultation and exhausting every alternative, it became necessary to take this action. Should military action be required, this will not be another Vietnam. Just two hours ago, Allied Air Forces began an attack on military targets in Iraq and Kuwait. Five months ago, Saddam Hussein started this cruel war against Kuwait. Tonight, the battle has been joined. As I report to you, air attacks are underway against military targets in Iraq. We are determined to knock out Saddam Hussein's nuclear bomb potential. It took 27 years, but today a group of U.S. Navy corpsmen veterans reunited for the first time since Desert Storm. The group gathered together in Oceanside at a special reunion since Desert Storm and Desert Shield. These veterans said Foxtrot Surgical Company did not exist before that war, but when duty called, roughly 200 of the corpsmen, doctors and nurses deployed to Saudi Arabia. The veterans say their company saved 500 lives. Amazing what we went through together um, to reconnect and you know see that we all made it home, we all came home and we, uh, we picked up where we left off. Change much? <laughs> You're as big as ever. <laughs> this guy right here. Is, so he was a badass when we were in Saudi, and afterwards, this guy went to uh, uh, sniper battalion. Yeah, they platoon. He was badass. Yeah. He was first, but no. So, <laughs> so he could take you out from a mile away. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs>